Hello everybody, hope you guys are doing fantastic. I hope you guys had a lovely Thanksgiving. And I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit different in this video. I'm kind of got a little bit of a cold right now. Uh, but in today's video we're going to be building this topless uh, noose outfit. Hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. Okay, so this partic particular outfit, there's only one belt that I would really think looks best beside the gun belt. Which it would be the uh, it feels this belt like right here. Shift is never going to end. I kind of feel like it fits with the outfit we're building today, so I'm gonna be using this. So if you don't want to, then don't worry about it. Just merge a different belt onto it. Okay, so right now we're just gonna be merging the belt that we want to use to this outfit. And to get this outfit, go to pants, suit pants, and equip the gold printed. Uh, they go print fitted pants, 26 out of 72. Top section, scroll down till you find t-shirts. It's hard to stay motivated in this recession. Gonna be equipping the yellow t-shirt, 58 out of 70. No, I just like to take off the shoes. And go back to the top section. Utility vests, and we're looking for the Peach Blake Carrier. We're going to save this in our, in our um, top slot for now. Now go to the ice coveralls and equip any of these outfits. And go to the nearest telescope. Like Alright, so once you're at a telescope, you simply just want to run by it and spam right on the D-pad. Hold in direction menu. Style and equip the outfit we just made. The hazmat mask should appear on the outfit. Now just now just go save it at the mask store or the clothing store, whichever one's the closest. Okay, so we're gonna save it over the top slop over the uh, other outfit. I save it two times just to be safe. Now equip the outfit around 15 times. This will help us uh, not spawn in with the Balakov mask when we load into the Titan of a job. If we spawn in with the Balakov mask, we'd have to restart the application and do the telescope outfit again. I mean the telescope glitch again. So clip it around 15 times and once you've done that, start Titan of a job. Now, but... Alright, and as you see when we load in, the Peach Play Care should be off the outfit, and the spawn in with the gas mask still on. Now again, if you spawn in with the Balakov mask, I recommend restarting your application and doing the telescope glitch again. But now let's go save this outfit in the gun store. Alright, so once we're at the gun store, just go ahead and save it over the outfit. Now what we're going to do is apply any outfit with the butt that we want on this outfit. Which for me, it's this outfit. With that belt. Equip the outfit you want with the belt on it. And lead the mission. Now if you check down in the description, there should be two uh, merging jobs. As well as the uh, job to get the new outfit we need for later on. You want to bookmark those jobs, and right now we're going to be joining any one of those emerging missions. Which is either it's a G thing or a slow and low. I personally use it's a G thing. It's a little bit easier. So just start one of those up. Once we load in, we're going to be putting on the difficulty to hard. So our alt or our friend can blow themselves up because if we leave too many missions at once when we're doing Beth, we can actually get put in bad sport and put the clothing on player saved outfits so we can merge everything over. Now just invite your alt or your friend to join. Alright, so once our alt or our friend joins, we're just going to start it up. Now you may notice as we try to merge it over that the belt will not view uh, be seen on the outfit, but that's completely fine. Just ready up.
we're gonna walk around for about five to ten seconds before blowing ourselves up to avoid going to bad sport. So just we'll walk around for a few. Alright, so go ahead and blow yourself up. Alright, so once you're back in the free mode lobby, you should have on the outfit with the belt. Now just look for a street vehicle or your personal vehicle, if not a bike, because this method does not work with uh, bikes. So uh, let me find a street vehicle I can use real quick. Alright, so just... You scaly fucker! Ah! Oh! Oh! Alright, just set up a CEO. Sit down in the car. CEO, management style, one to the left, one to the right, get out of the car. And you see that boat merge over, so now we're just gonna go save it. Alright, so it doesn't really matter where we save it, I'm just gonna save it somewhere out of the way. For when we get to actually building the top let's help it. So I'm gonna just save it down here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set up the mission that we can get, get the uh, new outfit from. Which again should be a description as I mentioned before. It should be a uh, new slash police by Husky. Now you're going to want to invite your friend or the alt again to help with this. Once we're in the mission the outfit should appear. Now, go to interaction menu, accessories, and apply an earpiece or a reader. I'm gonna apply an earpiece so I can keep the hat. Once you do that, just leave the mission. And once you spawn online, or once you spawn back online, we should have the outfit on. Now, all we gotta do is go save it. Okay, so we're going to save this out of the way, and now we can finally start building our, uh, our logo outfit. Alright, so the way we're going to do this, we're going to do it, um, I don't know if I pronounced her name right, but Illist's her way to do, of doing this. It's pretty fast and simple. So go down the racing suits, and we're going to be applying any of these racing suit logos we want on the outfit. Yeah. Just I think I'm gonna go with these. Around. Okay. These will be our seat one outfit. Head over to the tops, the labels, and we're looking for this hoodie. 12 out of 17. Go to interaction menu, style, and set the hood up. And save this as our C2 outfit. Now what we're going to do is apply a standard outfit called the Chica. We're going to apply a parachute and then take it off. Letting the game save. And then we're going to lag our game with net cut. Alright, and when we load in on console 2, all we're going to be doing is equipping this C2 outfit, which should be uh, the labels hoodie. We're allowing the game to save before leaving the story mode. Now on console 1, just equip the C1 outfit, which should be the racing logos we want. But, and unlike your game. Alright, so we should load in like this. Now we're just going to go say this outfit somewhere out of the way. It can be used as a C2 keep as well. Oh, hi. Let's save it over my C2K outfit. Oh. So now I'm going to be applying the outfit with the belt. Save that as our C1. Now we're heading over to the top section. Bikinis. And we are applying a black bikini. You'll say this is our CQ outfit. Now once we've done that, equip the C1 outfit. Apply a classic parachute. 
let the game save before lagging your Wi-Fi. Hope you find it. Alright, so once we load in on console 2, we're going to be equipping this C2 outfit, which should be the outfit with the black bikini. When I send the email, call me. Equip a classic parachute. Now. Let the game save before leaving the story mode. You saw the show last week, right? Now, once you're back on console 1, just take off the parachute is, and unlike your game. Looking for? Now once we load back online, we should look like this. Now if you didn't have any gloves on, then the uh, torso should uh, reappear. If you did have gloves on, just go ahead and take the gloves off. Oh, or you can apply a pair of gloves as you want on this outfit. I think Ooh. that the black fingerless gloves might look good on this outfit. So save that in our C1 slot. Equip the outfit with the logos on it. Apply the pair, uh, the same pair of gloves. My first outfit had spiked cuffs on it, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be applying those spiked cuffs as well. Now head over to the pants section. We're going to be applying the same gold fitted Predator suit pants that we had on the other outfit. And we're going to take the shoes off. We're going to save this as our C2 outfit. In case our C1 and our C2. Equip the C1 outfit. We're still using the classic parachute bag, so equip the classic parachute bag. Let the game save before lagging your Wi Fi connection with Netcut. And once we load in on console 2, we equip the C2 outfit, which should be the outfit with all the logos on it. You're, um, looking for stuff. Apply a classic parachute. We let the game save before loading into story mode. When you're back on console 1, just take off the classic parachute and unlike your game. And we should load in with the top list outfit now. Alright, so now we're going to go save this in our C1 slot because now we're going to be merging on the noose pants to the outfit. Huh? What's up, big dog? Big dog Making that money. C1. Head over to the pants section. Worry, yeah, just have a look around. Okay. Cargo pants and equip the sand cargo. Save that as our C2 outfit. The sand cargo pants will allow us to merge the uh, noose pants on. So we're going to put this outfit in our merge slot. Alright, so our C1 and our C2. Apply a classic parachute. Let the game save before lagging your Wi-Fi connection. Once we load on console 2, we equip this C2 outfit, which should be the outfit with the sand cargo pants. Apply a classic parachute and let the game save before leaving the story mode. Shout if you need me. Once you've done that, you should be back on console 1. Just take off the parachute and unlike your game. We look in like this. Now just start any merging mission. 
player own clothing and invite your friend or the alt to join. Alright, so now we're just going to merge the pants over and go save it in our apartment. Alright, so we can just save it somewhere out of the way because now we'll be working on the shoes. Have your friend or your alt blow themselves up to so go into bad support. Now it doesn't really matter what shoes we want merged on the outfit, but me personally, I think the black deadline shoes might look a little bit better with the theme cast. going on, with the navy blue and the black. So I'm gonna be putting on the, the black deadline shoes. So put any outfit with the deadline shoes that we may have as our C1. Head over to the pant, meaning add to the shoe section. Sport shoes, and we are looking for the Aqua Camo Crest Trainers. Save that as our C2. We have that in multiple colors. We're going to be equipping our C1 outfit and applying a classic parachute. Let the game uh, save before lagging your Wi-Fi connection. When we load in our console 2, we're going to be equipping this C2 outfit. Applying a classic parachute, letting the game save before we leave the story mode. That'll look great on you. Now once we're back on console 1, just take off the classic parachute and unlike your game. We should load in with the black deadline shoes. Now we're just gonna go save this in our merge slot. That's from our experience. Alright, so mom. once we saved it in our merge slot, we're just gonna be applying the other outfit. Setting that as our C1. Heading over to the shoe section. We're gonna be applying the red cross trainers. Head over to the pants section. The news pants are considered special outfits and every special outfit's pants to keep them the same color or to keep them from vanishing off the outfit. We're going to be equipping the blue digital cargo pants. 29 out of 49. And this is where we be saving the C2 outfit. Equip our C1 outfit, apply a classic parachute, let the game save before lacking your Wi-Fi connection with Netcut. Once you load in on console 2, we're going to be equipping our C2 outfit, applying a classic parachute, letting the game save before leaving the story mode. Now once we're back on console 1, and just take off the parachute and unlag your game. We should spawn back online looking like this. Now we're just going to start up any of the merging missions. Invite a friend or not to join. And as always, make sure it's on player own clothing. Now just merge the shoes over. Ready up. And as we load into the mission, we should see the deadline shoes have merged over to the outfit. Now we'll just head over to apartment. We can save this outfit where we have wherever since this is basically the completed outfit. We just gotta merge on the head over to the outfit, which we'll do by the telescope glitch. Alright, so we're just going to equip the outfit with the new set on it. Run ballad telescope right on the D-pad. 
interaction menu, and we're going to be equipping the top of this cop outfit. The hat should merge on now, just go save it. And that is how we build this outfit. Well, thank you guys for watching, hope it helps some of you guys out. And if it did, please consider subscribing. I'm so close to reaching my goal of 500 subscribers. I post the best content like this all the time. And thank you for guys for taking time out of your day for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.